static Kramer drive system. This is uh, this static Kramer drive. Uh, for example, in rotor resistance control method, the rotor resistance control method, the slip bar is wasted in the rotor circuit resistance. Okay, this uh, slip bar in the road static rotor resistance control method, this slip bar is wasted in rotor resistance. Am I right or not? The slip bar is wasted in the rotor circuit. That's why this method is an inefficient method. To overcome this uh, drawbacks of the static rotor resistance control method, so this static Kramer drive is used. Okay. So this slip power is not wasted in this rotor circuit resistance and fit back to the supply in the static Kramer drive. Okay, in the rotor resistance control method, this slip power is wasted in the rotor circuit resistance. The slip power is wasted in the rotor circuit resistance in the static resistance control method or conventional rotor resistance control method. But here, the slip power is fed back to the supply. So in one direction, okay. So slip power is fed back to the supply. So in this way, so this is called transformer step up the voltage okay and then fed back to the supply in this way this power is not wasted and is fed back to the supply this is the main advantage of the static Kramer drive. understood in the rotor resistance control method this slip power is wasted in the rotor circuit resistance okay here instead of wasting the slip power in the rotor circuit resistance it can be converted into 50 edges okay and AC supply and pumped back to the supply by using transformer okay so this is about uh, this method is uh, called as a Static Kramer drive. Okay, here the slip power is can flow in only one direction. This slip power is so flowing only one direction. So this method of drive is called static Kramer drive. Okay, in this figure, this uh, circuit diagram is shows the static Kramer drive uh, controlling of slip ring induction motor, speed control of slip ring induction motor. In this static Kramer drive offers a uh, speed control only sub synchronous speed. Okay, sub synchronous speed, but means uh, the speed of the rotor must be less than that of the uh, synchronous speed. Okay, so that is the speed can be controlled only less than the synchronous speed. Okay, by using the static Kramer drive, the speed can be controlled. So only less than the synchronous speed is possible only less than synchronous speed is not possible above the synchronous speed control of uh, slip ring induction motor. Above the synchronous speed it is not possible by using static Kramer drive. So this drive is suitable only for less than the synchronous speed. Understood? And this method of slip power is taken from the rotor. In this method, the slip power is taken from the rotor. This is called rotor and this is called stator. Okay, the power is taken from the rotor and is uh, rectified by using bridge, diode bridge rectifier. Okay, in this method, slip power is taken from the rotor and is rectified to DC voltage, rectified to DC voltage by three phase diode bridge rectifier. It's clear. And uh, the inductor LD smoothness the ripples in the rectified voltage VD. Smoothness the ripples in the rectified voltage VD. And also ID, this whatever the currents are, uh, ripples are present in the current uh, out, that uh, ripples are, can be minimized or suppressed by using this inductor, if you inductor connector like this, it's acting as a, just like a filter. Okay, so this rectified DC voltage is a uh, converter, this uh, is fed to the inductor and it suppresses the ripples and the harmonics and uh, so that uh, the output is smooth, uh, it will become smooth and this fed to the inverter input. Okay. This DC power is converted into AC power by using line commutator, line commutator inverter. This is called line commutator inverter. The DC power is converted into the AC power by using line commutator inverter. And the rectifier and inverter both are uh, line commutator, commutator by alternating EMFs. Okay. These uh, both rectifier and inverters are, uh, are both are commutated by alternating EMFs appearing in the slip rings. Okay, appearing in the slip rings and a supply bus bars respectively. Appearing in the slip rings here and a bus bar, supply bus bar, so respectively, per rectifier and inverter. Okay, here the slip power flow from rotor circuit to slip power is from flow from rotor circuit to the supply. So in this way, this is called rotor circuit and rectifier bridge one and uh, inductor smoothing uh, inductor and then another bridge two that is called inverter and to the transformer and and power su supply line bus bar so like this is the power, power is fed back to the supply in this way okay so this method in this uh, yeah power flow is from uh, rotor circuit to supply now. so in this method is also called as a constant torque drive this method is also called as a constant drive constant torque drive so because of this theta voltage is v1 is constant and also this voltage is a proportional to the torque torque is proportional to v square if this supply voltage is constant this torque is constant 
So that's why this drive is also called as a constant torque drive. Okay, the static Cramer drive has a has been very popular in the large power pumps. The static Cramer drive has been very popular in the large power pump and fan type drives. Very popular, very popular in large power pump and fan type drives, where the range of the speed control is limited near, that is, but less than the speed is of synchronous speed. So, where the speed control is limited near but less than the synchronous speed. Understood? This is, uh, this is about uh, static grammar drive. So, in this main uh, concept is static grammar drive is operating sub synchronous speed and also the power is flow only in one direction that is called slip, power, slip to slip power to rectifier and rectifier to inductor and inductor to inverter and inverter to transformer and then supply. Like this, uh, this uh, power is fed back to the supply. So, power flow only one direction and also it is called a constant torque drive and is operating in a sub synchronous speed of operation, not super synchronous speed. Above synchronous speed, is in, the method is not suitable. So below synchronous speed only, this method is, can be suitable. And this method speed control is economical because of uh, rectifier and inverter have only to carry this slip power. Slip power. Understood? This method is a uh, speed control is economical because of the rectifier and inverter only have to carry the slip power from the rotor, okay, uh, which is considerably less than this input, power, input to the stator which is considerably less than the input to the state of. So that's why this method is very economical, static Rama drive. So here is a, one mathematical derivation is there, mathematical analysis of slipping uh, static Rama drive. This is called rotor voltage for phase, that is called S into E2. The MF induced in the rotor circuit is known, is known as S into E2. No? So E2 is called uh, uh, rotor induced EMF for phase S into E2. Rotor voltage for phase S into E2. Okay, assuming commutation overlap is negligible, this DC output voltage of the uncontrolled three phase rigid adductor for Inovel. So VD is equal to three VM by pi. So three into maximum value of input voltage by pi. So here VM is equal to root two times of VL RMS. Okay, VM is equal to root two times of RMS. Line voltage is equal to maximum value by root. Okay, and then VL is equal to uh, RMS value of line voltage is equal to nothing but to root three times of V phase voltage. So root three into V phase RMS. So substitute here in this uh, equation, the maximum value of input voltage is called VM, that is equal to root 2 VL RMS. VL RMS is equal to nothing but root 3 times of V phase. So V phase is equal to S into E2. Substitute, you will get like this 3 root 2 into root 3 into S into E2 divided by pi. Then finally, 3 root is by pi into S into E2. So in this way, this output voltage VD of the diode bridge rectifier is nothing but 3 root 6 tier by pi into S into E2. And you know, so E2 by N2 dash is equal to V1 by N1 dash. Okay. So EMF per turn is constant, na? E2 dash by N2 dash is equal to V1 dash by N1 dash. So here E2 is equal to EMF induced in the rotor circuit, E2 is equal V1 into N2 dash divided by N1 dash. That is equal to B times of V1. So B is called effective rotor turns for phase N2 dash divided by effective stator turns for phase N1 dash. Effective rotor turns for phase by phase N2 dash divided by effective stator turns for phase and one dash. V1 is called supply voltage and VD is equal to 3 root 60 by pi into S into B into V1. Substitute here E2 is equal to S B V1. Substitute here you will get 3 root 60 by pi into S into B into V1 and VD is equal to 3 2.339 into S into B into V1. Okay. The average DC voltage uh, of the three phase line commutator inverter is given by VDC is equal to 3 root minus 3 root 60 by pi into V1 cos alpha. VDC is equal to minus 3 root 60 by pi into V1 cos alpha. And then VDC is equal to minus 2.339 into V1 cos alpha. This uh, line commutator inverter is operating. Firing angle is 90 degrees, it's called alpha less than or equal to 180 degrees. Understood? So this is the mathematical analysis of static Rama drive. Understood? So, and then next uh, speed torque characteristics of the, the uh, this drive is like this. Okay, speed torque characteristics of this uh, drive. The speed torque characteristics of a static grammar drive for open loop system for different firing angles. Uh, these are the different above firing angles for open loop feedback system. Static grammar drive for open loop system for different firing angles. These are the speed versus torque characteristics. Okay, the characteristics are similar to separately exit DC motor with the armature voltage control. Okay, by varying the firing angle, this speed versus torque characteristics are changing like this. Uh, for alpha is equal 90, 105, 125, 135, like this. So this firing angle changes. This uh, characteristics are changing like this. So these are the characters. Speed versus torque characteristics are like this manner. So small, small grouping. Okay, same as a separately exited DC motor. Okay, these speed are, these characteristics are similar to separately exited DC motor with armature voltage control. Okay, this is about a static chroma drive.